Here we are for race number eight of the Gatorade Cup Series, season number 14, the one quarter mark of the final Gatorade Cup Series season. We're here for a second crown jewel race of the season at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the running of the Brickyard 400. Everyone wants to win here to be able to kiss the bricks after 24 laps of action here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. We'll see which of these 42 drivers can do that, just that after the race here today in the Gatorade Cup Series. Bronson Mick in the 34 car has pulled for today's race, but beside him starting in second, the winner here last season, TJ Hanley in the 22. Starting in third position, Laura Chung, Zach Fitzroy Sr. starts in fourth, and rounding out the top five, Levi Jones in car number four. Starting in sixth place, we have Griffin Lynn. Back in seventh, Anthony Hernandez. To his outside, teammate John DeBeeford in eighth. In ninth, we have Melica Rodriguez, and Conrad Evans in the 95 completes the top ten. Back by them with Keyshawn Richardson who enters third in the point standings. And to his inside the one, it's Justin Seidel. Then we have Chris Jericho in the 18 with the 38 of Andrew Miller. Then we have Max Ross in the 20 and the 88 of Eli Bright. Jay Reno enters second in the point standings. And Jeff Brent the 9 starts to his outside. Then we have Cole Luigi winning her back in season 5 and winner of the last crown jewel race at Daytona. And Ryan Wilson to his inside the 32. Then we have Farron Longwell and Anson and Charles Bois in the 96 with the Bibby Ruiz and the 8 of Riley Spurley 2. Ross McMorola in the 10 and 2 is inside almost one year last season. That's Luke Rainey in the 2. Then we have Brandon Mill the 14 and the 16 of Riley Sampson with Jordan Stout and Sebastian Kukulon. Then we have Jose Mills and Smet Osgin. Noel Clifton enters as our points leader with Max Anderson starting to his inside. Then we have Derek Hamill and Evan Hunter, Anderson Reed and Jake Galloway, Zachary DeLello, Diego Yepes, and Marsha Burrell and Keegan Thompson round out the 42 car field for the 14th and final Gatorade Cup Series Brickyard 400. Let's go down and check to the fire of the cars up for the second crown jewel race of the Gatorade Cup Series season. Drivers, start your engines! And 42 engines come to life here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Every one of these 42 drivers wants to win here in Indianapolis. One of the four biggest races of the season. And we'll see which of these four two drivers has just what it takes here today. Will it be TJ Henley for the second straight season? Can Luke Rainey somehow find a way towards the front and get redemption from last season? Or will some other past Brickyard or past champion of the Gatorade Cup Series find a way to get it done in the final Brickyard 400? Just like Cole Luigi got done in the final Daytona 500. The pace car will make the left turn to pit road, leaving the field in the hands of Bronson Minnick for 24 laps of action in the final Brickyard 400. Minnick, Hanley, the front row. Chung, Fitzwater, Shones, that's the front five. We come down the front straightaway, Minnick's on the gas, and we're green flag racing in the Brickyard 400. Two by two off turn two. Minnick trying to clear and get out in front, but Laura Chung is the run to the inside push from Levi Jones. They race off into turns three and four. Laura Chung is the inside lane on Bronson Minnick for the lead of the first lap of the breakout four. And watch Levi Jones down low on the four. Chung blocks it off for now in the 66. They battle off turn number four for the first time today. Laura Chung clears out in front. Here comes Levi Jones on the four to the bottom. It's a drag race to lead the first lap of the final Brickyard Forner of the Gatorade Cup Series. Laura Chung on the outside gets it done the 66. But already the speed's over 200 miles an hour to turn one. Levi Jones for the lead in turn one. Jones now out in front, right behind him, an ailing Hendrick Morris Sports, wanting to do something to turn their season around. Anthony Nettis might be the one to do it. The 48 now to the inside for the lead, down the back stretch. Malachi Rodriguez, Justin Zidell also on the bottom, along with Andrew Miller, the 43, Keyshawn Richardson, Eli Bright, Hernandez's teammate, not too far behind as well. You see just how bad that outside is as the outside really split up and spread out as Hernandez clears and leads. Malachi Rodriguez looking low in the 48. They battle through four. Here comes the three to the inside. Rodriguez and Hernandez side by side. Zidell with the three down low, giving a better push than the four can give to the 48. And Malachi Rodriguez will lead the second lap of the Brickyard 400. Here comes Zidell to the bottom of the one. He wants to now try and lead as they enter turn one. Malachi sliding up a little bit off one, but Zidell slid up even wider. Here comes Andrew Miller for second place in the 38. Zidell slams the door shut down low, giving him some dirty air. And Justin's in second by the three as they race down the back straightaway. The three now staying in front of the one for now. 
There's Eli Brightstrom to emerge. Second in points, Jay Randall just behind Eli. Then Max Rossi, Zach Fitzwater Sr. some others that have found their way down low. Zedell for the lead in turn three on the number three. Rodriguez, oh, so close to getting involved with the one right there. But the one having to stay behind for now. Zedell looking out again on the three, trying to make a pass work. But so far, it's single file for the front six or seven. Now Andrew Miller will step out to the inside. The one of Justin Zedell for second place. And can he keep it down there? Trying to get the side draft off the one. He does get a run. And Andrew Miller will get the P2 in turn one. Rodriguez continues leading the three car. Andrew Miller now up to second. Here comes the 43 of Keyshawn Richardson. Moving up to third. Enters third in points. One point by Jay Randall for second. And about 38 points behind for the points lead on Noah Clifton. Eli Bright has had a dismal start to his season. It started out pretty decently. But as of late, has really fallen in points. He's trying to gain some of those points back. Currently fourth on the racetrack. Right behind him is Jay Randall enters second in the points. So right now, Eli running among third and second in points. He's sandwiched in between them. That's Keyshawn Richardson and Jay Randall. R4, here comes Miller for the lead. Andrew Miller wanted to lead this lap. Malachi Rodriguez trying to keep it out in front. Richardson got a great run to the outside of the 38 and actually pulls even into turn one. Eli gets jumped high by Jay Rando. It's a battle for a second with Richardson trying to make the pass on the outside, but Miller has the preferred lane down low to keep it st stuck in the second place. Jay Rando with his teammate Fitzwater moves up to third. Fitzwater now fourth. Miller trying to keep it in second. Rando's a run going. And the 53 takes it to the inside of Miller as they race off into turn number three. So it'll be Jay Rando now for second place. Car number three, Malachi Rodriguez, continues to lead this race. Rando now to P2. His teammate Fitzwater trying to follow through to third. Laura Chung, Bronson make the pulse here. Coming back on the inside, trying to get his way back inside the top five for the first time since lap one. Here comes Fitzwater now for second on Rando. And it's allowing Malachi Rodriguez to keep the lead out in front of that number three car. Fitzwater barely to the inside of Rando. The 53 giving him the run down low. And Fitzwater's the run now for second place. Slides a little wide. Got Rando a little bit up out of the groove. And Fitzwater's now P2. Now Lord Chung wants second. But the 51 blocks it nicely. Now Fitzwater with a run onto the back of the three for the race lead. Down the back stretch, right to the back bumper, but can't get to the inside. Stays in line for now. Behind Anton and Charles Bumbus inside the top five. Chris Jericho up to six with Brandon Beal, Anthony Hernandez, and Seb Kukulon right behind on the inside lanes. Fitzwater looking on Rodriguez. Can't make the pass work for now. There you can see the front seven or so are clear in single file. As it's still the three Rodriguez leading this race. Will Fitzwater be the one to make the move, or will it come a little bit further back like Lord Jung or Bronson Minnick? There they are to turn one. Fitzwater looking low on the three. Has the run to the inside. Zachary Fitzwater Sr., the only Rick Ware car not to win this season. Looking to get it done here at the Brickyard. He'll lead on lap seven of the final Brickyard 400. And now there's a big shuffle behind. The three got forced wide. The 66 got forced wide. Pulls here, Bronson Minnick's back up to second. Anson Charlebois, who's... Starting to come alive as of late. Up to third and Chris Jericho. Kind of a mediocre search of the season for the 18 driver. Jericho's up to fourth now in the 18. Bringing Brandon Beal inside the top five down the 14. Hernandez trying to come back in the 48. Smashing Kukulon just behind in the 42. Down the front straightaway. Fitzwater continues to lead. Here is Bronson Mick now. Our pole sitter in second. But Fitzwater leads the seventh lap of the Brickyard 400. Brandon Beal low on Jericho for fourth. And Minnick looking on at Fitzwater and gets to the inside. The pulls there back for the lead. Peel now for third on Anson and Charlebois. Minnick out in front as they come off two. Still side by side with Fitzwater, though. The 51 trying to fight back up top. I think Fitzwater's going to have to surrender that spot right there. Minnick's going to have to prefer lane to turn three and probably shove the 51 just a little bit wider than he wants to go. Yep, they see Minnick kind of ran a middle lane, allowing Brandon Beal the inside on the 14. Now Beal's going to lead this race. Brandon Beal and now out in front. Winner at Hillside just a few races ago. He'll lead lap number eight of the Brickyard 400. Anthony Hernandez back up now to second place. Derek Hamill on the inside with Aronson Reed. So some new faces trying to shuffle their way to the front. And then Jay Randall coming back with Levi Jones just in front of him. Hernandez trying to get inside of Beal but can't do it because Derek Hamill's the run to the inside. And car number 15 will move for a second. A little bit tight underneath the 48 but keeps it down to the inside and gets it out in front of Hernandez for second place. There's the read now to third place. Levi Schultz will go for fourth. Jay Brando and Keyshawn Richardson once again. They are second and third in points, and they're just running right like that on the racetrack, one behind the other. Ross McMorillo coming to the front. Jose Mills in the 47. 41 Keegan Thompson started last in this race. Keegan now inside the top 15 or so. Just find him. Eli Bright, the 88. Back up front for the lead. Derek Hamill trying to get it on Brandon Beal. 
Beal will lead the lap of the 14. Hamill barely to the inside. Can he keep it there into turn one? He will. Derek Hamill for the lead in the Brickyard 400. Levi Shulman's looking lower on the 15, trying to get the lead himself. There'll be three wide for the top spot. Into turn two, Levi Shulman's forces the issue. Luckily, they got the three wide story back to double file because three wide here is definitely the pushing point. Levi Shones now leads the Brickyard 400. He's, he's out in front. Jay Rando, second in points, up to second place on the racetrack with Keyshawn Richardson, third in points, going for third. Now Rando looking low on Shones, but can't get it. Come around and complete the 10th lap of the Brickyard 400. No caution flag so far, but a lot of very competitive racing at the front of the field. Levi Shones now leads the Brickyard 400. Jay Rando, Keyshawn Richardson are second and third. Mick Morillo is now up to fourth place, and Bronson make the post hitter. Somehow it's found way back up to fifth, and Keegan Thompson from last on the grid, now up inside the top, 10 to seventh, going for sixth. And now for the lead, Brando is low on Levi Shones. Here comes Keegan Thompson, Eli Bright, Max Rossi, and others behind, like Sibanowski in the sixth, the 11 of Evan Hunter, also coming in the inside lane. Kukulon's coming back, Anson and Charles Bonds found Oh, around they're going to go in the back! We have cars spinning on the back stretch, and they saved it! How did they save that? The 48th and 32 were completely sideways, and somehow we stay green. We have cars now in the apron trying to make sure that they can get through all right. And so far, I don't see any reason for a yellow flag to come out. The 48th and 32, what an amazing save between those guys. But will it break up the pack now? The 48 long left side damage, the 32 not too bad, but... Will these guys be able to latch onto the front draft? At the front of the field, we have a battle for the lead. Jay Reno has it. Ross McMurilla wants it in car number 10. I cannot believe that those guys were able to save their cars and keep it going straight. I mean, that is a, we, ha we have to go look at that because no yellow came out. But we, we definitely have to go look at this and see just what happened. Coming off two, three wide down the back stretch. Wilson on the inside, shoving up into Fitzwire right with the 40 of Hernandez, and somehow every car kept going straight, and no one ran over those guys trying to keep it from spinning out. Great job by everyone back in there to keep it going. Evans trying to latch onto the draft, and the side-by-side -side behind with the damaged 48 might hurt these drivers' chances at catching back up. We'll have to see. Hernandez getting into the draft of the 95, trying to pull these guys up there. The side damage shouldn't affect him too badly, it, it, it's just going to depend on how long everyone wants to stay behind him. As the 10 now leads in, out in front, but now Max Rossi to the inside of the 20. So Max Rossi moves out in front of the Brickyard 400, bringing Smet Osgum up to second. Rossi's teammate Evan Hunter now for third. Kukulon moving back inside the top five with Anthony Charlebois as well. Evans has latched onto the draft, so he is the last car currently in 18th in this lead draft. Then 19th on back, like Ryan Wilson, Zachary DeLello, the three of Rodriguez, the 19 of Galloway, Bibby Rose, Luke Reedy, and some of these others. They're trying to get up there. The 40 a little bit damaged on the outside lane is kind of slowing those guys up. Luke Rain flies around him. His teammate Jeff Bright trying to get to the inside. Points there, Noah Clifton also trying to get up here. TJ the last season's winner here also back here and trying to get up. So Hernandez fading on the outside with that damage, and these guys still passing, but they're still close enough to where they could get a sniff in the draft, but they definitely have to try and get single file as they're three wide up here in the lead draft. Shones and Rando and Keegan Thompson three wide down the back stretch. Thompson backs out. That was smart for Keegan Thompson to do just that. Knowing he was up top three wide, he probably would have gotten the worst of it if something went awry right there. So great job by Keegan knowing the issue and uh, just letting go. As In fact, all four of the Stuart Haas cars are up in this main draft. The four, the 14, just a few cars in front of him. The 10, the 41, the outside towards the back. Well, the field is starting to come back together with those drivers getting the draft. We have 10 laps remaining in the Brickyard 400. For the lead, it's two Joe Gibbs Racing Toyotas. Evan Hunter trying to pass his teammate Max Rossi. They come off one. Hunter so far staying committed behind the 20. Doesn't want to make the move quite yet. Kukulon's now third. Anderson Reed up to fourth place. And Derek Hamill up to fifth. Jose Mills now inside the top ten and sixth. Brandon Beals now seventh. Fitzwater up to eighth. Levi Schultz now ninth. And Eli Bright falling back to tenth. And under five for Jay Randall for that spot. We have a battle for third. It's Anderson Reed looking low on Kukulon. And for the lead, Evan Hunter's looking low on Max Rossi. Evan Hunter for the lead in turn number four of the Brickyard 400. Evan Hunter now leads this race. You can see the drivers like DeLevel and some of the others, they've latched onto this draft, so now we have basically the whole field back in it. Evan Hunter now leads this race. Anderson Reed up to second. Under fire from Derek Hamill, who drives his way to the inside. Jose Mills going for a top three spot in the 47, pushing the 15 through the second. Brandon Beal now up here in the 14. They're all chasing down Evan Hunter in car number 11. Almost some contact with Rossi and Reed. They backed out of it, Rossi did, and Levi Schultz will take advantage of both those drivers, and the four will move into the top five. 
Second and points and third and points. Jay Reno, Keyshawn Richardson right together again before the lead. Derek Kimball's low and Evan Hunter. Jose Mills will go with the 15 down low. Derek Hamill now leads the Brickyard 400. Levi Jones is looking three wide. Thinks better of it. Doesn't want to put his teammate in a compromising position. So instead push his teammate to try and get up for the lead. Mills in second will get back in line by the 15. But that lets Brandon Beal the inside. We're under 10 to go. Eight laps remain in the Brickyard 400. Brandon Beal second place. His teammate Levi Jones right behind him. Derek Hamill continues to lead the 15. But now Brandon Beal's looking low on turn two. Can he get down there is the big question. So far he can't. Levi Schoen's looking down his teammate, but now I think it wants to get back in line and will. Jay Rando might take advantage of that. The four may have lifted just a little bit for his teammate, but Rando, I don't think he got down there. He couldn't. Hamill tight out in front. Beal looked to his inside, almost got the back of the 15, but they keep it with the 15 and the 14 first and second. Levi Schoen's still third. Rando fourth. Keyshawn Richardson now fifth. Evans up to sixth in the 95. Pull sitter Bronze Mick now up to seventh. McMurla back to 8th, but in line inside the top 10. Kukulam now 9th, and Mills back to 10th. For the lead, Beal looking again. I think this time he's going to have it. Might put Jones to the outside, actually, and it will. Here comes Rando. Brandon Beal to the lead. Jay Rando, last season's runner-up in the championship. Moving up nicely and trying to win this one. Right behind him, the driver's right behind him in points. Keyshawn Richardson. They've been together all race long. They've been glued together nose to tail. Well, here they are again, nose to tail. The 53 leading the 43 up and trying to get by the 14 to Beal, but couldn't. Now Rando on the front from Keyshawn Richardson, but blocks down low to get in line. We're coming back to six laps to go in the Brickyard 400. It's getting dicey at the front of the field. Everyone trying to make their moves at the right time to try and win this race. Six laps to go in the Brickyard 400. Jay Rando looking low on Beal. Didn't get the run though. And almost three wide behind. They will be three. Minnick trying to stay clear of Mick Marola to keep fourth. And will barely just keep in front of the 10. Close there. Keegan Thompson moving up in the 41. Trying to get the draft. Samet Oskin right behind him. A coordinated move by the 53 and the 43. They moved out just the exact instant. And right here. Brando and Richardson, they've been nose to tail all race long. They made the move at the right time, and at the same time, now they'll be one, two, nose to tail within the final five laps. Five laps to go in the Brickyard 400. I can't believe that they made that at exactly the same time. I don't know if they've been working together all race long. They have their spotters with each other, but there is something between the 53 and the 43 today, but now it might be over. Richardson's looking on Brando for the lead. They may have worked together all race long, but up to this point, I think now this is going to be the time to abandon teamwork. We're in the final five laps, so at this point, it's everyone for themselves. Keyshawn Richardson looking on Randall, looking for the leadoff turn number three. Gets right up behind the 53, but so far, no move made. Now he's looking to make it through turn four and will make it through turn four. Keyshawn Richardson for the lead, but Mick Marola goes high with Jay Randall trying to push him by, and Keegan Thompson take advantage and go to the inside. Four laps remain to the Brickyard 400. Yellow flag went on the race short. Thompson from last on the starting grid, up to now third and for a second, and maybe for the leadoff turn two. Here he comes to the end side in the 41. He's trying to get there and will get there on Keyshawn Richardson through turn two. Keegan Thompson from last starting spot, moving up for the lead on Keyshawn Richardson. Simon Oskin with the Bibi Ruiz out of nowhere inside the top five. Rodriguez dominated early on. He's up here, and last season's winner, TJ has made no noise at the front. He's now here in the 22. Oskin for the lead on Thompson. Coming back to three to go. Who will time it just right in this Brickyard Forward race? Or will someone get out in front and not be able to be touched at the end of the race? Three laps to go. Samet Oskin leads the Brickyard 400. Beefy Ruiz up to second. But he's under front for Rodriguez into turn one. Malachi Rodriguez had a really fast car early on in this race. Led a lot of laps. Got past. Never really talked about him after that. But now Malachi moving back up. But he's under front from TJ Hanley. Can he get the draft from the six? TJ got a better runoff turn two, better launch. And Hanley's going to be the P2. Last season's winner here won it late last season. Can he steal one again this season at Indy? He's looking on Oskin. He got a great run through turn three. TJ in the out of nowhere is now for the lead in turn four. This time by, two laps to go and five miles left. Out of nowhere, just like last season. TJ Lee now leads the Brickyard 400 with just two laps to go. Which driver will be able to kiss the bricks? 
others behind TJ that has a shot. Evan Hunter, Chris Jericho. How about Griffin Lynn out of nowhere? These champions coming out of nowhere. Cole Dujan a little bit too far back, but he's starting to make his name known at the front of the field. Can the JGR Toyotas run the Penske Ford down is the big question. Coming back to the white flag and the Brickyard 400. Hanley, Hunter, Jericho. Lynn abandoned by Hamill. That's the battle for fourth. Hunter has a run going in turn three. Has a run looking low. Can Hunter get there? Looking half a lane lower, trying to get low. We're coming back to the white flag in the Brickyard 400. Penske, JGR, JGR. Lynn clear in fourth in case the front three have some sort of altercation. Final lap at Indianapolis. The final Gatorade Cup Series Brickyard 400. Who wins it? Will it be TJ on the out in front? But can one of the JGR Toyotas make a move? Hunter in second, Jericho in third. So far, Hunter staying behind Henley for now. Down the back straightaway for the final time. Griffin Lane in fourth, hoping that the front three have some sort of big altercation. Hunter trying to get a run from his teammate Jericho behind. They race into turns three and four for the final time. Hunter looking on Hanley, trying to get to the inside. And he might just get there, he's so close. Hanley trying to keep him fended off for now as they battle off of turn number four. It's going to be back-to-back -back Brickyard Forner victory lane trips for TJ Hanley. Down the front straightaway to the checkered flag. TJ does it again at Indianapolis. What an ending. TJ Hanley holds off the challenge from the JGR Toyotas to win the season 14 and final Gatorade Cup Series Brickyard 400. Is he the master of Indianapolis or what? My goodness, back to back for TJ Hanley in this very prestigious Brickyard 400. He'll be the one to kiss the bricks here today in the Gatorade Cup Series. Let's go check the finish results and how the points look after a crazy Brickyard 400. Here is how they finished in the Brickyard 400 at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. No caution flags here today in 13 lead changes. 12 different drivers saw the top spot. From second starting spot, it was TJ Hanley leading the final three laps uncontested to win the Brickyard 400 over the JGR teammates of Evan Hunter and Chris Jericho. Hunter started back in 36, Jericho in 14th, they end up second and third, nose to tail, but Hunter Oh, so close to being able to make the move stick off of turn number three, but couldn't get it done. Griffin then continues his his just streak of consistent races. Fourth place for Lynn, so close once again to breaking that winless streak. Derek Hamill from 35th completes the top five. Bron Smith started from pool, never got to lead this uh, race, but end up with a great result in sixth place, really at the front all race long. Cole Luigi out of nowhere at the end gets seventh place. Good points to move himself inside the top ten in points. Brandon Beal gets eighth place, leading a few laps early on in the race. Jeff Bright out of nowhere gets ninth place, definitely his best finish of the season. And Jose Mills completes the top ten in the number 47. Noah Clifton was the lowest of the top three in points all race long, but he finished as the highest of the top three in points. Clifton extends the points lead with an 11th place finisher today. Evan Yepes, Osk, and Mick Marola complete the top 15. Then Ruiz, Rodriguez led the most laps of five. Chung Wilson and last season's champion Luke Rennie, a uh, solid and consistent 20th place for the two. Andrew Miller, Sebastian Kukulon, there's Fitzwater, he led early on. And down here, Keegan Thompson was up at the front towards the end, but faded in 26th. And Keyshawn Richardson did beat Jay Rando. Richardson 27th, Rando 32nd. You can see how those two fell after being at the front for most of the race and being nose to tail. They finished pretty close together, but Richardson got the upper hand on Rando here today. And some other drivers that we didn't really get to talk about down here didn't have the best of days and really struggling. Obviously, the 48 had some damage and was stuck at the back of the field after that finish 42nd. But did a great job saving his car, not causing the yellow flag with Ryan Wilson. Uh, but Hernandez, unfortunately, finished back in the 42nd position. Let's now go see the points after the Brickyard 400. We are a quarter distance into the final Gatorade Cup Series season. Here are the points are shaping out. Noah Clifton continues to lead in points. He's up now by 86 over Keyshawn Richardson, who moves back into second. Griffin Lynn now up to third, only two points behind second place. So Lynn moving up nicely with his few good finishes. Jay Randall falls to fourth. Derek Hemmel's fifth to second through fifth are within nine points of each other. Just how close it is for second to fifth. Brandon Beal is now sixth. Diego Yepes seventh. Galway's fallen to eighth. Really disastrous last few races for the driver of the 19. Luke Rennie in solid, consistent ninth place. And Cody, which is two wins, he's now up inside the top 10 in points. TJ Lee, that win boosts him up to 11th in points. And now he has one of the wild card spots. The other one goes to Zachary DeLello, who's currently 14th in points. So right now, Hanley, DeLello get the wild card spots. Ruiz and Fitzroy are just outside the top 10 in terms of points. Aaron Reed, Chris Jericho moved up nicely with his second top five of the season. Ryan Wilson, after saving his car, 
in today's race. Now 17th in points, Oskin, Samson, Bronson, Minnick are the gatekeepers of the top 20 in points. Minnick with his third pole of the season here at Indianapolis. Winners down here, Ferret Longwell in 31st and Kukulon in 36th. They've just not had the seasons they've wanted after those wins and are really looking for a way to, to move themselves up in points. Eli Bright had a kind of mediocre day. He's down 27th. Hernandez fell down to 25th. And he's right now the highest Hendrick car in points. Hernandez is in 25th. So it's really been a struggling season for Hendrick. Jeff Bright scored his first top 10 this season with a ninth placer today. He moves him up to 35th in points. Malachi Rodriguez still has not scored a top 10 this season. He and Laura Chung are the only ones that can say that, unfortunately for them, as they're kind of stuck down towards the bottom of the points. Jose Mills still last in points, but got his best finish of the season, 10th placer today at Indy. So we are a quarter of the way into the final Gatorade Cup Series season. We're about to see our first road course race of the season as we head to the Watkins Glen International for the AAA 300. I'll see you guys then.